Welcome to County Office, your complete guide to local government services and public records. Let's start learning. What happens in ICE detention centers? ICE, or Immigration and Customs Enforcement, operates detention centers across the United States. These centers are designed for the temporary holding of individuals who are awaiting a decision on their immigration status or potential deportation. Upon arrival at an ICE detention center, detainees are processed, which includes taking fingerprints, photographs, and collecting other biographical information. This process is done to confirm the identity of the individual and their country of origin. Detainees are then provided with a notice to appear, NTA, before an immigration judge. The NTA outlines the reasons why the individual is being held and the allegations against them. In these centers, detainees have access to medical care, including routine and emergency healthcare services. They are also provided meals, bedding, and hygiene products. Detainees have the right to legal representation, but the government does not provide it. Instead, they may hire a lawyer or seek help from nonprofit organizations that offer legal services. While in detention, individuals can participate in recreational activities and have access to social services, religious services, and visitation rights. The length of stay in an ICE detention center varies. Some individuals may be there for a few days, while others could be there for months or even years, depending on their immigration proceedings. Take a look at the links in the description below to learn more. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment. We're here to help. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'll see you in our next video.